Let us now export a skeletal mesh from Maya. I'm going to open a scene, go File, Open Scene, and I'll choose Act underscore sportsman.ma. Select Open and don't save. Right, I'll wait for that to load up. OK, let us look what we have in the scene. We have the sportsman character. Its transformations are frozen, and he is at 000. The model was clean, the history has been deleted. He has also been modelled and rigged so that he is facing in the positive Z direction, which is very important. Also, there are no unwelded vertices or flip normals. As you can see, the tri counts are just over 113,000. So this model will require two materials for when we do the export. This model has four materials allocated, so this will be fine. Within the outliner, let us expand the sportsman's group node. Notice that it has a bind group, a rig group, and a mesh group. This character has been modeled and rigged with Render Digimania's real-time engine in mind. This structure is a common game engine technique, where you have a bind group and a rig group that is separate. OK, so we only need to export the bind rig and the geometry. Therefore, we only have a little preparation to do to cleanly detach the animation rig from this setup. To cleanly detach the animation rig, follow these steps. Expand the bind group by holding down shift and left clicking the plus. This will expand everything within that hierarchy. And now we select everything within this bind group. Select the top and shift select all. We are now going to delete all the constraints. Go to the mail script command line and type delete space hyphen cn semicolon. That will strip all the constraints from the joints. Hit enter and notice all the constraints getting deleted. All we need to do now is to delete the rig group. So all that remains is the bind group and the mesh group. Select the rig group and press delete. All we have left is the geometry and the joints. Select the rig group and press delete. All we have left now is the geometry and the joints. What we need to do now is to look at breaking the wall target connections. So select the mesh. Go to the channel box on the right and select sportsman underscore face morphs. Notice the lilac coloured channels of narrow, small, wide, frown and open. We need to break these connections. Select those by shift selecting. Right click and select break connections. If there are any non-zero morphs, zero the values out. Except for the envelope, make sure that the envelope value is 1, or you'll lose the envelope data on the mesh. Go to File, Export All, choose the option box. Make sure the file type has the FBX export selected. Choose Edit Preset. We need this current preset to be the Export SM2. Scroll down and choose Export SM2 Actor to Package. Close the window, select export all, save it to the correct folder. I'll go up a level and I'll choose the FBX folder. Give the file a name. I'm calling it My Sportsman. Select export all, and Maya will now create an FBX file, it can be imported into a Render Digimania project. Now we have a viable skeletal mesh.